Thank you. Uh, Shri D. Bandhapatyaya. Thank you, sir. There is no denying that most, a large amount of government land and premises are in illegal occupation. My first point, I will very earnestly request the minister, through you, sir, that does he have at least an estimate of how much land or premises are in illegal occupation. We are passing a draconian law, but while the fact is there are illegal occupation, we may not know, we do not know the exact extent, to what extent it is being done. So my first point I will request the Honorable Minister through his own machinery to find out what is the total area roughly, it is not possible to have a direct, uh, roughly how much is the land is in illegal occupation. But, sir, the, 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 it increases, the bill expands the definition of public premises. It goes enormously out. Very large areas have been taken into account in this. And the process of ev eviction has been almost made draconian. So I would request, sir, through you, that why the good, there are good features in the bill, the draconian features of the bill has also to be looked into. Therefore, may I through you suggest to the government that let it be sent to the select committee of this house so that they can go through beer, thread beer in what is happening and whether all the uh, uh, recommendations or observations of the Honorable Supreme Court have been fully incorporated and what could be, well, it should be done that the public premises should be free of uh, illegal occupation, but in, 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 in dealing with the, we should not throw the baby with the bath water. So the main persons should not suffer too much because of this law. So with you, through you, sir, I make an appeal for sending the bill to the select committee, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, 